We're gonna put the bookmark on the page marked meatballs. Because that's what we're doing now. You wanna go through the ingredients and we'll pull them up front here? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Um, from the top. From the top. Chopped meat. Chopped meat. It looks like organic chopped meat. Organic chopped meat. This looks like a little bit richer than what we usually use, which is the 80-20. Mm -hmm. We need four slices of bread. We got plenty of bread and plenty of bread to make sandwiches. The bread is gonna give it a little bit more volume. It's gonna lighten it up a little bit. We're gonna soak it in water. The recipe calls for half a cup. Pour off any excess. You know, you get the water in there and you just start working it, squeezing the bread through. You know, you wanna basically get the bread so that it becomes like a paste. Then you're gonna do a quarter cup of Pecorino Romano, grated. What's our next ingredient down the uh, ingredient? The garlic cloves. Garlic cloves. So three garlic cloves. We're just gonna peel them very simply, take the skin off, and then mince them fine. What's our next ingredient while I'm doing this? Well, let's, do, let's peel the garlic. Man. All right, let's peel let's, the garlic. Let's, let's do it together, man. Yeah, this is the part in Goodfellas where they do it with the razor so it disappears. They do it with the razor blade. It's so thin, you get so much, you get five sauces out of one garlic clove. And we got the raisins and the pine nuts in this uh, recipe for its like little uh, Northern African influence. Crack the egg in a bowl. You could crack it straight over on top, but if you get a shell in there or if the egg's sour, you screw up all those ingredients. We're gonna put our bread in there. And then we have half a cup of dry bread crumbs. So that's- 32 grinds of 15 turns in the pepper mill. 15 grinds. Which we've calculated many, many, many times. Salt. Salt. What does the recipe call one for? One and one half teaspoons of fine sea salt. There we go. And now uh, parsley? Parsley, yeah. Look at you, man. Look at you go. And depending on how fine you chop it, you can make it a quarter cup. Yeah. <laughs> if you want it to be a quarter cup, it will be a quarter cup before you know it. You don't want to over parsley it, though. Do you want to do the honors? Of what? No, Mixing I got my, it? I got, I'm old. You're, I'm all wristed up right you're, now. You're all blinged up? Okay. I mixed them up. So to mix it, you got to get ready. Right, you got to get there. your hands in there. You got to get your hands in there, and you got to evenly mix it. Oh, the wolf! Big oven. Can you stand on it? No, you can't stand on it. On the Will wolf? it hold you? No. So we're using really good olive oil here. Looks like it's Tuscan. Basically you're looking for about a quarter of an inch of olive oil. Shallow pan frying, that's the term. So we just want to bring this up slow, like a nice medium heat. It even says medium on this stove. All right, so we're ready to start forming some meatballs. The size of the actual meatball is in the book. That we thought was pretty funny. The actual size. About that size. You know, rolling a meatball always makes people happy. You think of snowballs. You start to see little bubbles forming on the side. You want to make it so you can't flip them? Yeah. I can flip them. Man. Go for it. God, you're in there. Doing the shot, man. Scorsese's directing. So what we're looking for is a little bit of brown, a little bit of crust, a little bit of golden, a basically a seal to keep the meatballs together. Not a lot of BTUs. Man. I don't think there's a lot of gas flow on the old Wolfie. It's like a tank, right? But it has like a little four cylinder engine in it. If you really want to cook, like in a restaurant style, you want a lot of gas coming out of those jets because you need to move. So we're faster. saying, Wolf, if you want us to design an oven for you, you know, we're available. <laughs> you're flipping them, you're turning them. This is when you hear the Frank Sinatra track on. Uh, we play the Grateful Dead when we're making meatballs. So how's it smelling here, man? It smells. How do you feel? I'm not smelling it. I gotta say that. No? You're not feeling it? You're not smelling it? Man, the dogs are smelling it. If nobody else is around here, those dogs are there scratched on the door. This is like a rare meatball in the middle. This is fine. This is exactly what you want. It's like eating a rare hamburger now, which we're gonna do. We're gonna put a little pecorino in there and taste it. Okay, eating time. Boy, the crew's gonna really like the leftovers. 